It's time to go Inside Innovation, brought to you by Allegion, pioneering safety. Well, in 2016, research and advisory company Gartner estimated the SaaS market to be uh, worth about $37 billion. This year, it's expected to surpass $116 billion. Xylo was launched from the High Alpha Venture Studio in 2016. Now, just four years after co-founders launched the company from a shared desk, Xylo manages more than $12 billion in active spending. Co-founder and CEO Eric Christopher explains what's next for the 2020 Mirror Award winner for Tech Product Scale-Up of the Year. We have a great team, a great set of customers, and we set out with a plan, you know, that started on a, you know, kind of a two-sheeter two business plan, and, and we've been just working heads down and, um, you know, focused towards that. And so we've had three rounds of funding and, you know, over 100 enterprise customers. It's, uh, it's been, been kind of wild, a wild ride. Yeah, Eric, what's, what's really, in your view, uh, fueled that success in the SaaS management software space? What, what is special about Xylo uh, that folks are connecting with? Yeah, well, in, in general, um, we're in some interesting times right now where a lot of companies need uh, solutions to be able to enable a remote workforce, as an example. But the SaaS explosion, uh, since we started the business, um, it has more than doubled in spend for companies that are buying software. And so we've really been fortunate to time the market where companies are buying more software and they need something like Xylo in place to help them manage that, that growing expense. So the timing's been, been very fortunate for us. And during uh, this, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, period, so challenging for so many companies and so many companies really razor, uh, laser focused uh, on cost. And that you say has been uh, really a benefit to, to Xylo. It absolutely has. Um, we're not immune like most companies where, where we sell an enterprise product, so there's slower decisions and things like that. But one of the most important priorities for companies right now is to manage costs. And subscriptions by nature are a cost that continues to grow. And so it's very important that CFOs and CIOs have plans in place to be able to manage it. And so they look to us as a partner to, uh, to, to manage that. What's next as you look at uh, the future and growth opportunities here in Indianapolis and beyond? Where do you see uh, they see the real opportunities? We have continued to focus on uh, the United States and uh, selling domestically. Um, I could see us um, in the next year starting to focus more internationally. We have uh, now customers uh, in in Australia, in Sweden, uh, in the UK, and so we're starting to have a demand for supporting those uh, those customers and and build a market. So I, I could see international expansion being a big priority for us. Mike Zylo, big market potential, also shine, helping shine a light on Indiana. Yeah, yeah, I'll just follow two things. One of them is we love to see scale up companies like this that are our, our next generation of potential successes that are chasing big market opportunities, growing market opportunities. And so to have Zylo a winner in this category uh, is significant for their future. Uh, and so that's, that's something that th that's exciting to see. Uh, the other thing, we've seen the byproduct of, they've, they've raised a significant amount of venture capital from some of the biggest names in the business that are a lot of coastal VCs. And I think that's caused some of them to come and invest here and spend time here for the first time. And so that level of visibility, we love to see from new investors and new customers that helps to bring further validity to this market. Yep.